So I went across to the weekend, um, the touring cars was on, not seen the touring cars in years, so really good weekend, good racing. Um, I think actually I can't remember the big screens being there last time I was there. So what you used to get is basically every every like minute and a half you'd just get all the cars come past and then you'd have to wait like a minute and a half and then the cars would come past again. So it was really hard to know what was going on and things like that but they've got massive screens now. I don't know how long they've been there for. I haven't been in like a number of years so... Um, massive screen so it's kind of like you can see everything that's going on you know what's going on and then you've got the atmosphere and the cars coming past you as well at the same time so best of both worlds a couple of support races as well the minis i can't remember what they're called i think they're fun cars and then formula four as well so good bit of racing bit of single seaters bit of touring cars bit of bit of like um all in one series put a little or a couple of clips in there for you um now and then when we come back, I'll show you what we're doing in today's video. So in today's video, we are doing a little trip in the caddy. So we're gonna go away for a couple of nights. I haven't been away in years. I haven't actually had any proper downtime in years. So um, basically I've got a couple of things that I want to take off the bucket list and things like that. So we're gonna do that, stay in the van, make a little camping trip of it. Um, as a result, when I built the van originally, I realized that I was, cause I was going for such a minimalist look, there isn't actually much storage in the van. Obviously, you've just got the big area where you can store stuff, but there's kind of like no pockets um, to put things in um, and, and stuff like that as well. So like bits and pieces, you either need to put in a bag or like when I've been mountain biking, just all goes in a whole little bag and just goes on the floor. Uh, but it would be nice to have some more pockets where you can put like bits and pieces that maybe aren't coming out of the van every single time that... that um, that like I'm, I'm essentially not using it so it can keep and store some stuff in the van. As a result, we've got this load of goodies that has arrived. Some of it we need to test fit, uh, just to make sure it's good. Some of it we can put on and leave it on. But first of all, I may have mentioned the van's minging, it's still not being washed. So we're going to clean out the back area, get rid of all the dirt and stuff like that. So at least the back area where we're going to be sleeping is going to be presentable. So this is where we're at. So we need to give this a good clean, remove that as well. So we're going to put that somewhere, clean it all out so it's nice and clean. And then we should be ready to be putting the stuff that I've got in place.
Okay, so we're nearly there. So what I'm going to do is go to the garage, hire a hoover, just take a hoover over it to get rid of the bits and then do the dashboard in front as well, just to make sure it's all like at a decent enough level. So, all cleaned up and sorted in the back, ready for a couple of nights in here. And then to the pile of stuff that we got. So, um, we'll just open them individually, work through them and get them all sorted out. So. First one here, so this is just like a storage bag. We can uh, work as a cooler bag as well. So this is just going to go on the back of the front seat. So I think it was fairly straightforward. It was literally just this clip goes around the back of the seat here. here which if I remember correctly which I don't and so there we go we've got it on the back of the seat so it's got it tied looped round and then it comes through the bottom here and I've used the little pulley thing and tied a knot in it as well to hold that in place so it's not going to move much yeah uh, like I said tissues all over in this bottom bit and then these pockets all the way around and then this is foil reflective in here as well so I'm presuming you could put some like ice blocks in here uh, obviously sealed and then put some cold drinks in and with the reflective surface I'm presuming that'll stay pretty cold for quite a long time as well so that's the first one out of the way let's do the second one I presume this is the second one so And again, just purely for storage, this one. And so these will go on the back doors, basically. So, got this one here. For the small barn door. And then this one here. For the larger barn door. So, let's get these on.
Okay, so there it is all on. Pockets. And then little elastic keepers holders as well. Just this door. And we're good to go. And there we have that side as well. So two big pockets. And then the large pocket down the bottom. So that's um out of what we had available that's the two things done now for for storage and the third thing is we're going to go somewhere else and do that just before we move on however i need to figure out a way to sort this out from when i breached it because it's getting progressively worse and worse like twisting sometimes it's twisted and just dragged along the ground like that so i think it's actually only held in by one bit now so let's see if I can get under enough to, to get it off completely because it's just getting to the point where it's annoying. There's been drag along the ground and twisting around and everything like that so as you can see it's like because this used to be just straight along the bottom of the van as you can see it's all twisted it's never going to get back in shape also split snapped half of it so this is what happens when you beat your carry uh, basically so held in by these little plastic um nuts i would say 10 mil so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put this back on so it's back on and underneath the van um there's a like a, a tiny little bit left but that's not the bit that seems to be causing the issue so i'm just going to leave that where it is and in the meantime i'm going to order a replacement one of these parts whatever this is and uh stick a new one on underneath i'm presuming just with the size of it it's not structural or anything like that it just seems to be something for I don't even know what it's for, but anyways, it's off for now. Put this back on, and then that'll do for the time being until I can get this replaced and get the new one on. And so there we go. So that's this all sorted. So you can see the, um, well, you can see on the other side where it starts now. So it's only about a quarter of the van that it's lying over, and you've got the uh, the ten mil here, and then. Um, the 10 mil here as well and then that's about halfway along actually where it starts but like i said that part's not the part that was having the issues with that was hanging down it was this bit here so now that bit is off it shouldn't be hanging down and scraping on the ground anymore um, and we should be good until it's time to replace that part with the same again but new and so we've come out to a car park for the final bit because this is where we're going to put the van into like night mode or what I would call night mode. So if we um, just get the last box undone. Here it is. And this should black out the whole van and the rest of it. So I've got the blackout curtains in the back already. In here already, but I've got nothing for the front. So this should sort out all the front area. Um, so let's get to it. And so this is how it breaks down. So we've got, that's going to be left front. And then that's going to be left front as well there so like that then obviously we've got the equivalent right side and then we've got the windscreen as well so um, insulated on the back reflective on the front so that side is going to go towards the window and stick onto the window so we'll go set this up get it all stuck on then walk away from the van and have a look at the van and see what that's like from the outside Yeah, in there like that. 
then we've got so that's now on there we've then got that there we'll do these two windows and then also the windscreen so we've got it all set up and on the windows on the inside so this is basically how it's going to look from the outside i think it's going to um, block out a lot of the light because it's already looking pretty dark in there i've got both the back doors open still so yeah total privacy and so what i'm going to do is i'll show you what it's like on the inside and then i'm going to close the back curtains and close the doors and see how dark it really gets inside so so yeah on the inside it's just this insulation layer here just over the windscreen it could probably go better onto the windscreen um just obviously with a little bit but first time putting it on just trying to figure everything out but yeah there we go so that's how it's looking from the inside and clearly like a lot darker even with the door open and also the back doors open so let's get the curtains closed in the back and see how dark it gets then so that's the curtains closed as good as they're going to close I uh, quite like those new pouches for storage so we'll get them obviously fully utilised and, and filled up with things ready for the trip so curtains closed got the front on and what I'm going to do now is close the side door and see how dark it actually gets So, yeah, I mean, this is easily dark enough to sleep in. Bear in mind, the lights are still on. So let me just get the lights to go out. And yeah, so the only bits you see in is the bits, well, firstly, the back windows where I didn't use the pins on the side of the, the pins on the side of the window frame because i had difficulties drilling in and it was snapping the drill bit so yeah that's but i mean still enough for total privacy from the back and then at the front there's nothing getting through there at all and bear in mind we are like five o'clock in the evening and it's a bright bright day as well so if it's this dark i'm perfectly happy um so it's going to be a good little adventure So that's going to be it for this video, I will see you in the next video when we are going on an adventure. I think, I don't know whether it's going to be one part or two parts, but we'll figure it out when we're there, depending upon how much to do, and tick some lifetime goals off the list in a bit, bye bye.